previously. <laughs> what are you doing this? I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's <laughs> not the way to do it. <laughs> what my? Well, apparently it was. <laughs> Stop. Stop slapping me. <laughs> Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> okay, okay! Best Don't do that again. Tell the fucking game ever, holy shit! <laughs> and now we continue. Hey everybody, hey Jeff and Dad here, and welcome back to more Guardians of the Galaxy Episode 3! <laughs> oh shit! Ow! Okay, I guess, okay, I guess, you know, you know why, you're the intro, got it, alright, got it, game! Ah, uh, so the last <sighs> part, you had a look at Gamora's past, and why she kind of hates Nebula. And now, uh, this weird music is playing inside the funeral room uh, of Peter's mother. Uh, so don't forget to click the subscribe button, everybody. Uh, let's go! Uh, oh. Okay. That, that just happened. Cool. Uh, okay, let's... What went up? Da 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 da! What is it? Whoa. What the fuck? Um. Uh, okay. The fuck is this? Oh my gosh, Captain America? <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly tomorrow. Over here. Ah, Peter Quill. Yeah, Mendes. Hey, that's the uh, how you really here? How do you know who I am? We have met. When? But I was not me. Oh. Um. Um. Okay. Cryptic shit. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. Oh. Thank you. You're quite welcome, Mantis. May I borrow that? No, you may not. Mm. You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, no. Uh. <sighs> Very well, then. Yeah, because no offense, but <laughs> from Peter's point of view, we don't really know who you are, so... Okay. Wow. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we still know your name. You are truly well, well, the hero like, the legends foretold. Else. So brave and handsome. <laughs> oh, well, you know. I am Though, Star Lord. Perhaps not in the classical sense. Oh okay. yeah. What? Ha! <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. well that rule. You must have you. many questions for yeah, me. Yeah, first off, name. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Why? Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one. That you could free me. Um mm. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. Um... The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no. 
That is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. Yeah, very, actually. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. I... You're welcome. How could you possibly know how he feels? Uh... I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah, uh, never mind, yeah. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! <laughs> With great pleasure. <laughs> Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh, yeah, no. It's, it's not going to go well, but you know what? YOLO. <laughs> oh. Uh, what emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. Yeah, no, no. Sexual. You see, <laughs> I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial <laughs> One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> who should we try on first? Uh... Groot. I got just the one. Oh, man, this you're gonna be a great addition to the Guardians. You're gonna be a great addition. <laughs> I swear this. Delta has never made, like, the Guardians a lot. Oh, my gosh. I fucking love this. They need to make the Avengers just like They need to make I stuff like this. They need to make cool. Avengers just like this. This tree man has profound love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. Yes, you are. You are oh. Groot. Not everyone. Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <clears throat> he is pleased that someone can understand his true feelings. Mantis is an empath, Groot. She can sense your emotions. I am Groot. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Yeah. Oh, I can explain. <sighs> okay, what the fu- uh Long ago- Wait, the... wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. <laughs> then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. <laughs> of you? course, Peter. I want to be a guardian of the galaxy now. I've only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe to create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure <laughs> that the forge was the only wielded the by someone deserving. Me and, like, and to help all guide the wielder down the one. right path. But I waited. And waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some <laughs> yeah, even I'm tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the Forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the Forge and I were separated, locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Oh, well, no, no, no. Thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. How is the case, though? What an interesting and relevant story. You're glad we heard it all, champ? <gasps> Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out in airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. <laughs> there is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. Hey, Jamie. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, 
wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Me? Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. Yep, that's me, all right. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. Hey, <laughs> come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not right. Peter is the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. Oh, if Pete is this celestial what's it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. I am Groot. Ah, well, that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost Ones. Loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. So why destroy it? Why would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <coughs> Hala! <clears throat> it's yeah, true. awesomeness comes with a price. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. Oh. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Did you die really? here? Who are Someone you planning to kill? To die well, to you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. I? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, yeah, I'm with Groot on this mean, one. Like, Maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do! I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I think we should destroy it. It is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. A lot of wow. Uh. Okay, this is uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know. It's. Let me think on it. <laughs> yeah. I would think on too. Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Wow. Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. Uh huh. Well, let's think about this for a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> Mimic her. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Yeah. Maybe right. Just of course. Don't move at all. I cannot sense the shrine. There is. So much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Yeah, right on that. But think about it. The Forge can bring anyone back to life, but still need someone still needs to die. So basically, someone dies, someone comes back to life. But if you think of it, that's so much power. Like what is stopping somebody from like like Thanos or like Hala from trying to resurrect an ancient army and killing Killing everyone on Earth to resurrect like a huge, like, you know, space army, something like that. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that. <sighs> but now, I am hopeful the Forge can bring my family back if you choose to use it. 
Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done yeah. it. I'm sorry. It, bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay. Uh, Groot and Rocket, you're next. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk to Groot first. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the forge. I am Groot. <laughs> okay, uh, Rocket, you're next. You're next, Rocket. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. Are you drunk? I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back... Are you... Someone they love. Are you drunk, Rocket? The fuck? And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands. The whole galaxy the is screwed. Sure doesn't go the wrong the whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah. The only ones you're screwing are your so called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Oh, okay, that's... Yeah. Okay, you're just... I am Groot. You should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. You don't mean that. You don't mean that, Rocket. Come on, you're just drunk. How are you telling me what I don't mean? Man, the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I am Groot. Have a nice night. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you go sleep it off? You are, yeah, you are drunk. You are drunk, buddy. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the whiskey did I for him. I am Groot. Now, what a okay, Groot, right? Like, honestly, like, what? Can, the fuck? Fine. 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 I wonder, can, like, yeah, can Groot, right? Like, instead of saying, I am hey, Groot, can you okay? write, like, what he's trying to say? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, yeah. I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Yeah, that's work. I think that could work. Give her some time space. Time heals all wounds. Without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Yeah. Who's they? I don't know. Historians? I have no idea. Yeah, I, I lost a historians, philosophers. Maybe I can get her to hang around. The beard. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's the old guy with the beard. Just maybe not right now. Yeah. Think she needs some alone time. Yeah, alone time's pretty probably good. Yeah, but you know, old guy with beard. Okay. With that everybody? You good, Mantis, or? How about now? Not that I can tell. There's still something blocking me. Nebula? 
Okay, Nebula, yeah, you, you're gonna need to calm the fuck down, Nebula. Like, calm, calm the fuck down. I'm, I'm, yeah, calm the fuck down, Nebula. Um. Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. Yeah. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh... This is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. Yeah. So, thanks, I guess. Success. Like I said then, it was just a trust exercise. You passed. Yeah. Pretty sure Gamora still needs convincing. Speaking of my dear sister, but you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve I everything I've you. been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Well, you're the start shit, so. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. Yeah, you, you guys stabbed you her, so... When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? Uh... I saw you stab her yeah. and leave her to die. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Oh yeah, show me, yes. Yes, you Come on, man, come over here. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Alright, so we're gonna do that in the next part, guys. When we come back, we'll be going into Nebula's memory and finding out what really happened on that day. Maybe something happened that, you know, Gamora failed to share with us. Or something even major happened. Maybe Thanos was, like, getting tired of Gamora and, like, I don't know, did some thanos -y evil shit. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll be seeing you on the next Guns of the Galaxy Filled part. Be sad, everyone. Have a more spectacular Guardians filled day!